welcome back guys uh, today we'll talk about the pr creation through smart form options so what we have seen so far is local catalog we have seen in the previous sessions so this session we'll talk about how to create the smart form and how are we going to use that smart form during the creation of the prs okay so as we know the uh, the job role which is required is the procurement catalog administrator with that and also we need data access so those are the prerequisites which we cover previous sessions so if you see here job role and data access and procurement agent also it has to be there now so how to create create a smart form from using manage smart form option and add the smart form to content zone and ensure your smart form will appear which browsing category under which browsing category so once you concentrate on these three steps so you are ready ready of uh, smart form uh, in the cloud system okay shall we go and uh, create a smart form and how the smart form will be useful to create the pr so now i came to here under the procurement click on catalog it's a very simple and straightforward process, but you know why people are using it is because, you know, every time selecting a catalog or selecting items, you know, people are not aware which are catalog they wanted to create. That is the reason the SSP has given these many provisions to the users so that while creating the, uh, what you call PR, they won't do any kind of manual mistakes. Okay, to avoid that, and these are these these are plays a vital role in the SSP area in the SSP page. Okay, so now task list. Go to manage smart smart forms. Click on plus. So you provide your smart form name. So I'll give a the uh, beautiful name as a smart form because the system itself, this uh, option itself, it is smart. So I'm giving the name also smart okay so 0 to 4 and uh, yeah we can give whatever so keywords which are helpful to pull out your smart form so i'll give a smart and here this smart form you are going to we are creating for what line type either goods or services so i am going for services it is very simple guys so it's very straightforward. I'm going for services and I am on to restrict my short smart form into specific browsing category. So let's say I want to restrict for next category Vipo. Vipo category is the browsing category. So under these categories, so I have only one category name. If you want, you can add it. So how to add it? Okay, let me show that. So uh, now we'll keep this one time being here. We'll open one more farm. Okay, so I'll show to you how to add it. <clears throat> so go to same same home icon and the catalog same same. Uh, place same navigation so go here catalog and content zone catalog at category hierarchy so since why i could able to see only one because under this we have only one category has been assigned so now i want to assign one more so insert items so let's say office supplies okay so I wanted to restrict my smart form into this browsing category. This is the browsing category under this. These are the uh, actual categories. So browsing category just for, I said, no, organization purpose. So click on done now. Go back here. Now, if I open this category, I could see two. Office supplies I'm creating. So let me give something and negotiation required negotiation so we have two options negotiated means so once you click on that system will allow to modify the amount and here you can see the user editable 
so when so you disable that system won't allow to suppose let's say i want to disable the category i don't want to give the option to the user who is going to create the pr so uh, i mean i want to restrict that so you can restrict using this particular checkbox okay now i am giving the supply so agreement level we'll see in the next session and uh, contact if you want you can pull out and i don't want to give option to edit so this way you can restrict okay and so browsing so for which category you need to give here as a browsing category vip apply and so attachments if you have you can add it so it is very straightforward let me add something which i have let me add this one title description something just understanding purpose test okay. save that's all here so now what is the next step we need to add that smart form to content zone click on done and here where to go content zone edit this you already have so here i can add my smart form so next session we'll see the public list and all but you know some companies they may use some companies uh, they may use smart form some companies they may use local catalog like that it it uh, those things have been you know scattered so it depends actually the requirements okay fine that's all here save save and close so click on done now go back to ssp page you want to can refresh click on home purchase equations is the ssp page now by if for example if you know that you can check it out here or or here also you can find out request forms okay this is also we can find here the smart form r here also you can find shop by category so you would see is what office supplies so office supplies there is one more thing is also present so what system will system will organize all those things under browsing category so click on the smart form see automatic attachment also came so see can you see here system is not allowing to modify anything all are restricted so but here yes system is giving the option to override so i'll need to give this one and usd that's all if you have you must enter yes test add to cart review since we don't have agreement system won't create the pivot automatically fine search okay save and then submit so this is the way to create your pr through smart forms now i made a smart form for fixed service just it is a service based if you want you can create your smart form for item based also okay so this is very simple and uh, you know uh, most of the time uh, <clears throat> most of the time you know requirements are coming and people are very habituated with this for with these options actually fine so with this we will end up the session so thank you very much and please subscribe my channel so i'm going to post more more and more uh, what you call related uh, 
short videos rather than long videos short videos i'm very much preferable i'm very much preferable to post the short videos and please subscribe might be it will be more and more useful for your day to day activities of your professional work okay so with that thank you so much have a wonderful day bye bye take care